Zach Wallace starter off. Okay, welcome to Bluegrass 101 uh, on this Wednesday, whatever the date is, um, September 16th. We are going to do a Leuven Brothers song. I am a huge Leuven Brothers fan. They were a uh, brother duet group in the 50s and the 60s. Uh, they broke up. Ira Leuven was a bit of an alcoholic. He liked to smash his mandolin on stage if he uh, was a little drunk and was having trouble tuning it. Um, so he was a little volatile. So the brothers broke up in 1963 and Ira would die in a car accident in 1965 but up until that point ira wrote these amazing songs he's an incredible songwriter wrote when i stop dreaming um wrote uh, cash on the barrel head wrote um uh met my baby and wrote this song travel traveling on and it would get recorded by the shenandoah cut-ups in um 1973 and 1988 Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver recorded it. Um, Marty Stewart and Del McCurry do a wicked version on the 2003 album Leuven, Lion, Lovin' and Losin', a tribute to the Leuven Brothers. It is a phenomenal album, has all the Leuven Brother covers by some great acts. Um, but tonight, yes, we are doing Travel Traveling On. We are going to do it in the key of A. So uh, you can keep with the second fret or if you're a mandolin player, just play it and uh, let's learn the song here okay um, we'll start her off pretty pretty slow and we're still gonna do it in a bluegrass style even though the Leuven brothers kind of did it in a more country ask style but uh, we want to do that bluegrass boom chuck so that boom again a second time but that is the root of the song 
Now this song is done in Leuven Brother Harmony and Leuven Brother Harmony is not like a standard, the person is singing lead and then the tenor is singing the third and sometimes the fourth note above the lead. Um, there's a whole bunch of different, sometimes they're an octave apart, sometimes they're a fifth apart, and we're going to get into that when we do the harmony, but we want to make sure that we understand what the lead is doing through this. And sometimes it's really hard to hear what the lead is doing because it's easy to switch over to what the tenor singer is, is singing and thinking, well, if he's going down, then the lead is going down. That's not necessarily the case. Sometimes the lead is going down and the, and the, and the tenor is going up or whatever, or the other way around actually, typically, but that's fine. Um, so there's a few little tricks in this. Um, first off, really, really, the lead is just like straight, 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 not doing anything crazy with the vocals. So there's a home, you're not going, there's a home, no scoops, no like home high up in heaven where the saints never dwell no little hitchy doos nothing like that just really pure tone vocals as you possibly can get there's a home high up in heaven where the saints will never dwell the other thing too that's really important holding out your notes in this song um, there's a home you want to do that home the whole time you want to park on the vowel you don't want to go there's a home high up in heaven where the saints will never dwell so practice those vowels there's a home high up in heaven where the saints So bid is quite low in this song. Um, and I'll bid this world farewell. There's no weary ones in heaven. Only gladness will be known. Sinner come, accept my Savior. Let us travel. Long. Okay, so there's the cor the verse in the chorus. Um, remember to go down low, and this song is quite a bit of range, so you're going to have to watch what key you're in. Remember that lowest note, um, and a bit, and the highest note is um, only gladness will be known. Sinner, uh, sinner weary. So it's a full octave um, that you have to be able to sing in this song. Once in heaven, only glad. Yeah, full octave that you have to sing in this song to be able to get through it. So uh, an octave is quite a bit for a singer to do, especially to make sure that all of the tones are in pitch and kind of sounding nice. So. Might have to do it in B flat, might have to go down to G, might have to pop up to C, depending on how high or how low your voice is. Okay, so uh, let's do it a little bit faster and we'll go through the lead again. And then I want to get right into the harmony on this because the harmony is so cool. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's a home high up in heaven where we're singing. When the road of life is ended, and I'll be this world farewell, there's no weary ones in heaven, only gladness will be known. Sinner, come, accept my Savior, let us travel, travel on. Turned away 
shame. In that book of life of heaven, God has written down my name. There's no weary ones in heaven, only gladness will be known. Sinner, come, accept my Savior, let us travel, we'll travel on. is over and when saints go marching home will your soul be free from sorrow or in sin be unknown there's no real ones in heaven only gladness will be known sinner come accept my savior let us travel, travel long. So right into it. There's no Okay, so that is how, well, the Leuven Brothers did an intro to it as well, but uh, that is how the Leuven Brothers do it, and that's how most people um, do it. And almost everybody does this as a duet, because the duet is so freaking cool. So, now typically I go, uh, I learned this duet part basically as a completely separate lead and a completely separate song. Typically you kind of go, oh yeah, we're going to match this, uh, but it doesn't match up. And by that I mean, so, there's a home, there's a home, there's a home, there's a home. So the first thing that you notice is on dwell, he does this dwell. There's a home high up in heaven where we say it's our ever dwell. When the road of life is ended and I'll be So on dwell and well, he's doing two notes instead of one note. So he's going dwell, farewell. Okay, so remember that. Also, while the lead is going, and I'll bid, the tenor, the uh, Charlie is going, I'll bid. He's going up, and I'll bid. So, he's not going down the way, same way. The melody is not the same. It's not matching up. Let's do that really, really slow again. Again, this is the harmony to travel, travel on. There's a home high up in heaven Where we'll see it's our ever dwell When the road of life is and I'll be this world farewell. There's no weary ones in heaven, only 
Okay, so to understand how that harmony matches up, because he's not going and tracking the same way, we're going to record the lead, okay? <clears throat> Remember the lead goes, there's, there's a home. Starting on that note, there's a home. Okay. One, two, three. There's a home high up in heaven where with saints I'll ever dwell. When the road of life is ended and I'll bid this world farewell, there's no Okay, so I'm just doing the first verse and the first chorus, and I did it pretty slow so we can kind of get an idea. So remember, the lead is going, the tenor is going, there's a, there's a, there's a. So it's first off, it's starting on a note that is not in that G chord. There's a home. It's pretending that there is a D chord there, um, but it's not a D chord. Anyway, let's crank the sound up and let's see how close I can get to the harmony here. One, two, three. There's a home high up in heaven where with saints I'll ever dwell. When this road of life is ended, and I'll bid this world farewell, there's no weary ones in heaven, only gladness will be known, sinner come, accept Savior, let us travel, travel long. Okay, some really, really cool, I'm just going to get into some of the cool stuff that he does in that. So when they're uh, on the, and I'll bid, he is on, uh, the lead is on a low D. Bid this world, build this world, farewell. And the tenor is a full octave above. Bid this world, farewell. Bid this world, farewell. So it's starting an octave apart from one another. Bid, bid this world, farewell. Now what you notice is on fair, they're singing the same note. Bid this world fair, bid this world fair, bid this world farewell. And the tenor is parking on that note. Fair, farewell. And the lead is going. So they are a full octave apart. In two notes, they come together so that they're singing the same note. And then uh, Ira drops one and Charlie goes and scoops up. So it, in the end, it, there's all this tension. Octave, then it then comes together. And then, uh, then this tension of only one note apart. 
and then resolves to a perfect one and three, or which is the the um, like a standard chord. So octave comes together and separate it. That is on that. Uh, I'll bid, bid this world farewell. Okay, so listen to listen for that little segment this time. One, two, three. There's a home high up in heaven where with saints I'll ever dwell. When the road of life is ended. There's no weary ones in heaven, only gladness will be known. Sinner, come, accept the Savior, let us travel, travel long. It's the coolest harmony ever, and to truly appreciate it, go and listen to the Lubin Brothers and, uh, and just have your face melted off. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to... Um, okay, typically I don't do this, but I'm going to do it on this song just because it's quite complicated. I'm going to go through the whole song um, and record it, and then I'm going to play along with it and record the harmony to it. Uh, then, because I have enough time, I'm doing okay for time. Uh, the second time that I'll do it, I'll just do the harmony and allow anybody out there to do the uh, lead if they want to. Okay, <clears throat> let's do... And if you want to sing the harmony as I'm playing this lead part, please do. And sing it loud and and... Try it out. See what notes work and what notes don't. Okay. Now, as said, this I'm sticking really, really close to the Leuven Brothers style of harmony. You don't have to do it exactly like that. I'm just teaching and trying to show you exactly what the Leuven Brothers was doing through this song. Okay. Um, I'm going to do an intro too. One, two, three, four. Sinner, come accept the 
the Savior, let us travel, travel along. decay all right so the Lubin brothers did it with the mandolin and I like having an instrument in my hand so let's get a mandolin for doing the harmony I am by trade not a mandolin player But uh, that is what Bluegrass 101 is all about. Practicing. And uh, yeah, we like uh, we do it over and over again. This is the whole concept of Bluegrass 101. Typically, a concert, you hear more than one song. Even in slow jams, you hear more than one song. But this is really going through and practicing a song and trying to get it as best as you can. Okay. Um, I'm going to okay, do so it's One, two, three. Yep. 
the sea, dear. Let us travel, travel alone. Okay, that is Travel, Travel, and On with mandolin and guitar. But uh, I sang the lead and didn't give you guys a chance to sing the lead. So what I'm going to do is put this capo back here. Now, if I was to sing harmony on this, I would hopefully have someone who is singing the song lead in G. Uh, this is just slightly too high for me in A, but I'm going to stay in A because I've been work we've been working on it in A, and uh, you'll just have to kind of maybe turn down the computer volume when I'm hitting those uh, high D notes um, or high G notes. Uh, yeah, um, so. Okay, we'll do the same thing, only uh, so uh, intro, same full breaks. And this is a great song to... It's, it's a like the the actual there's a home is not that hard to pick out by ear so it's a great song to um, to practice your picking on as well okay let's do uh, yeah let's so I'm gonna sing the harmony but first we're gonna do a break on it so one two three four Thank you. 
free from sorrow. Lord, see in me, I know there's no fear of wandering heaven. Only gladness will be known. If sinner, come accept the Savior. Let us try. Okay, that is the, uh, well, let's see. We have time. This is more just entertainment for me. Um, I'm going to play banjo. Uh, so Doyle Lawson recorded this, and Shannon Doyle Cutups recorded this, and they made it full bluegrass. They still did it as a duet, but uh, they didn't just do mandolin and, uh, and guitar. Add it upright bass and fiddle and so okay. Let's see. So I'm gonna sing the harmony, but first we're gonna do a break. And I'll sing lead. Save 
Let us travel, travel long. I, uh, I almost lost it there. Amber said, uh, I don't know what I'm loving more, the falsetto or the face expressions. <laughs> I'm sure you're not loving the falsetto, more probably the facial expressions. And uh, Lindsay, hey, Lindsay. Uh, I worked with Lindsay out in Kananaskis and we sang songs together. And uh, yeah, um, that is Let Us Travel, Travel On. Um, as I mentioned, it is the Lubin brothers just do these incredible passing uh, harmony uh, structures and all <laughs> all country bluegrass uh, like uh, country rock. The birds were heavily influenced by the Lubin brothers. Chris Hillman and Herb Peterson were huge fans of the Desert Rose Band. Um, Amy Lou Harris covered uh, uh, Lubin brothers songs. Uh, everybody idolized the Lubin brothers as soon as they came out and well not as soon as they came out but um, a lot of people learned how to do exactly those types of of brother harmonies and those unique harmonies that the Lubin brothers were doing and uh, there's some great great Ira Lubin brother stories and Charlie Lubin brother stories and I won't get into them all but uh, yeah that is uh, let us travel travel on and that is bluegrass 101 for the evening I hope you enjoyed and I hope you sang along and played along uh, I do post this of course you can find me on Facebook and it's on there but I also post these up on YouTube so you can go to YouTube and find past songs that we've done like uh, uh, um, we did uh, uh, who's that knocking on my door last week and the week before that was Panama Red. So we've, we've done, I don't know, about 10 or so. But uh, yeah, thanks for everybody that uh, tuned in. Happy picking. Keep your hands clean and uh, stay safe out there. And thanks so much again for tuning in. See you next week. <laughs>